Well, hello and welcome back to Fairhead. So it looks like... Oh dear. It looks like the oats are ready. And, yep. I can see the wheat is ready in that field up there as well. So, the first job for today was going to be to... Um, bail up the straw. I think, in fact, it's still going to be to bail up the straw. We get the straw bale to start with. And then we can have a look at harvesting maybe the oats. I suppose the cows would have run out of food as well. Yep, but we're going to ignore those for a bit. I was hoping it would have ticked over to a three-day month, but it doesn't appear to have done that. So maybe it has to wait until the next season, unfortunately. Okay. We've got nearly a full bale of hay in here. But uh, that's all right. We'll just... It'll either convert it to straw or we'll get a, a bale of hay out of this as well. Right. Well, let's find out what it does with that first bale then. I wonder if we'll have a... Oh, yep, yeah, it's converted it to straw. I wonder if we'll have enough... Um, enough wrap for this. We should do. I think we've got more anyway, haven't we? Somewhere. These are going to be big bales. 11,000 litres each. Right. I shall, I, I shall suppose. No, I suppose we shall get on with getting the bales done. Because then we will need to get on with the harvest. Both oats and wheat are ready. Oats are the biggest field. Last thing I want is for any of them to wither. That's the trouble. So I don't know if we will need to get them all done this month or not. But, uh... Hmm... Would save another daily fee on the harvester if we got it all done this month. Anyway, let's get this bailing done first. Right, well, there we go. We have caught quite a lot of straw on here. Which is fantastic. We are also running out of fuel and diesel exhaust fluid, so we're going to go top that up. 
Um, but yeah, we need to then get on with the harvest. And I think we'll start with the oats uh, and then move on to the wheat after that. Um, this baler actually could probably stay in here. Having a lot of problems with this baler and the pickup. I don't know whether the uh, creative mesh need to limit the amount of the pickup drops, but uh, possibly. Right, let's get it taken off. Then we can go and get some fuel and some add blue. Right. I shall get this topped up with fuel and I shall get the add blue sorted and then I will see you over in the field ready to start the harvest. Right, so the New Holland is all fully fueled and exhaust fluided. I hooked it up to the trailer that will need that. Um, but I'm going to use the fence to move the header around into that field. The fence hasn't had a, a run for a little while, so why not? Oh, that's quite a hill. Back this up over here. Into the bailer, apparently. Now we can drive around and off into the field. So we're going to go for the oat field to start with, like I said. We'll probably end up doing both today. Well, I hope we will. Depends on the harvesting speed, because... Uh, it was so slow to do this wheat field, and it took all day. I turned the uh, time down while I was fueling because it, it was going to take two hours to fuel the tractor, <laughs> which is not realistic. Right then, so... I... Th we'd left a bit of a space in here to be able to get the header on but it doesn't look like we have so it's going to be a little bit of crop destruction possibly uh, we seem to have our oh crikey we seem to have the correct tyres on for the job so not too much crop destruction which is great news And we can put that there and then reverse the trailer up over there out the way when the harvester's on it. Okay. Now, the difficulty is getting the harvester around there because it's such a wide, wide harvester. Well, it might not be a wide for a harvester, but it's definitely wide for, any, for the roads around here. left, right and centre. Trees in the way. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic harvester which we need to fuel. Luckily it doesn't need any um, exhaust fluid, but we do need to put fuel in it. Otherwise we're not going to get through this harvest. May not even get through this harvest with a full tank, to be perfectly honest. Right, anyway, I'll get it fueled and I will see you when we are ready to... Uh, harvest right then so we have managed to get the combine in the gate and the header on although we're stuck on the fence at the minute but wait, let's get the oh dear I need to get closer but I can't ah, there we go and oh yes I need to unfold the combine and start the thrashing. There we go. Oh, 
Right, so it's time to try and get some harvesting done. So it certainly does not look like we 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 were right. So it certainly does not look like we will be harvesting the other field this in-game day. This oat field is taking a long time to do, which is understandable. It's a big field, and there's only one of me. And only one harvester. So, um, it's, yes, it's looking unlikely we will get round to the wheat. And I possibly should have done the wheat first. I don't know. It's, I think it probably will be, or generally, too late to harvest wheat in September. But, um, I mean, it, it's possible with the weather in the UK. Who knows? Fingers crossed it is still ready to harvest when we come round to it next episode. And we should have moved on to three days per month in that episode as well. Because it should be moving on to autumn. 
Right, anyway, harvester is full up to the top. So we're going to get that emptied. Leave that there. There we go. Get that emptied. We're going to do quite well off this oak field. I it doesn't yield as well as um, as wheat does, but it's still going to be pretty good. Pretty pleased with the yield of it so far. So yeah, so far today we've managed to get our baling done in the other field and harvest in this field, which isn't a bad day, I don't think. Right, so I need to turn the pressure on. Let's turn the header on. Lower it down. And we're good to go again. And I will... get the whole of the field done in the next time lapse. Who knows, we may even have time to start the wheat field. It's only, what, 12 o'clock now? Probably not too far off halfway through this field. So, we shall see. Day to continue with the harvest in the wheat field, which is fantastic, uh, because it, then we won't have a risk of it withering. So what we'll do is we'll get the harvester taken straight over there. We will... Do we need to refuel? No, I don't think we will refuel, because we'll waste my fuel on a... least vehicle. Right, let's get the trailer out so that we can get the, uh, the header onto it. And then we'll take, take it all around to the other field. Right, while we're out, let's just disconnect the hoses and the PCO. Right.
Okay, let's get the header taken around to the wheat field then. We'll get the harvester taken around there too. And when we get the um, harvester underway, we can bring the bulk goods trailer around to empty all the oats into the into the silo and make it ready for the wheat. It's extremely good if we can get that field done today. And then we can focus on the straw and the hay and feeding the cows in the next episode. Alright, so we're in the field. We are ready. Switch the thresher on. Wonder if we can just oh crikey. Let's get in the field first. And switch the header on and lower it. And then we can get on with this field too. Which would be absolutely fantastic because we should have a problem getting this field done on the fuel we've got. Uh, because it's a lot smaller than the other field, and the other field used uh, I'd say just over half a tank. Don't really want to put any more fuel in this before it's going to go back. As you can see, the grass is already fully grown without me having the chance to get it fertilised, which is a bit of a pain. But uh, it is what it is. At least we can get another cut off it and make some more hay. Make some silage bales even as well. That would be great. Anyway, focus now at the minute is getting this field done. So let's get this harvested. We won't be baling the straw today. We'll be doing that in the next episode. Along with getting some more cups of grass done because the cows are desperate for food again. Right then, we have a full harvester. So, we need to empty this trailer into the silo, and then we can come and empty it. Empty the harvester, that is. So it's, um, it appears that we're getting a much better yield off of that small field than we got off of the big field. And I guess that's down to soil composition, maybe? Soil type? which is, well, obviously a big factor. Huge factor. So, um, it's really good for us because it means that we got more grain. We got uh, 15,238 litres of oats, which is fantastic. Just hoping we've got room in the silo because it's only got 75,000 litre capacity in the silo. But I think we'll be all right. I think it'll be fine. The first field yielded is just about a third of that. Um, obviously, the oats are not a third of that. And this field up here is smaller than the first field. So we should be absolutely fine. Right now, it's a case of uh, getting us up to the silo without too much difficulty. No promises. Okay, and we get shuffle on. And then manage to get the trail around this part of the building. Oh, not quite. Yeah, we'll just take all the paint off there. There we go. Paint is now all off. Good. Okay then, so. 
here to get through the gap under here. I don't know whether that other tractor has to be on. Not really sure about that, but I'll find out in a minute. I probably should have put this in a bit of a bigger area. Right. Well, we can start loading. No, that is going in at the top there, as you can see. Oop, crikey. As you can see up <clears throat> there. So we are offloading into the silo without the tractor being turned on, which is fantastic news. It's obviously coming out really slowly because it's coming out the grain door. Don't want it all over the floor, do we? Want it nicely into this bit here. There we go, and then we can go and load up on the wheat. Get out of here now. Don't clip the auger. That's very delicate. And let's head round into the field. It's been a cracking day's harvest. It really has. I know the cows are starving. They're going to have to carry on starving for a little bit. Because... Harvest is our future gold. And with it going to three days in a month from next month onwards, then we shouldn't have to feed the cows consistently. We'd have to feed them once once a month, which would be fantastic. We are going to have to get them in some, uh, some grass before we got an opportunity to um, make up some more TMR mixes. Okay, so I'm sure we can turn the thresher back on now. We can turn the header back on now. As that empties, we can pull the pipe in, lower the header, and we can carry on going. So, I'm going to get the rest of this done, and uh, hopefully it won't be too dark when we finish. unrealistic and I'm going to return the harvester from here to save any additional costs especially overnight costs there we go that's that emptied so harvester can be returned now header could be returned now trailer can be returned now there we go job done all right we'll get all this put into the silo and then we'll have a good sleep, I think. Oh, crikey. That's falling over. Uh, we are, Oh, yes, we are playing with a few um, different mods that affect leasing costs as well. So we have managed to get a bit of money back there from our deposit that we put down originally. Which is good news. But obviously we have to pay for all the repair costs and everything like that. I don't think we have to pay for fuel, which is 
good news because we used it all. Well, we did have to refill it after the first field, but at least we returned it empty, which means no additional costs to us. Ah, uh, this is a pain. Um, okay. Yep, that ain't gonna happen. Okay, right, what's the other option? The other option is we reverse it up there. I wonder if that'll be any easier. Although, whoever, whoever used the words reverse and easier in the same sentence before is obviously a lunatic, which is me. Right. if we can get that trailer pointed up the right track, so to speak. Or quite literally up the right track. There we go. I wonder if this will be easier. Seems to be going pretty well so far, he says. Touch wood. Okay. That did appear to be a little bit easier. Especially coming from that direction anyway. Uh, yes, hillside there, brilliant. And now we can go forward and under here. Superb. Well, I am, for one, hoping that this is going to all fit in here. I think it should do really think it should do there we go let's have a quick look over here at the information yeah used capacity 43,000 so we'll definitely fit it all in no problem at all got quite a bit of wheat quite a bit of oats that should be all good and we might even have about 20,000 litre capacity still in the silo which would be great we we'll have to move it all around to empty the silo. The um, back of the auger will have to go under here, and then the front of the auger over the trailer. But there we go. That is us done for the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.